and also due to presence of or this DNA is useful to involved in protein synthesis that means direct protein synthesis expected from RNA but the information required information for protein synthesis it was developed by DNA so the DNA is going to give some messages based on the message or structure structural aspect from DNA RNA is going to produce a sequential order of amino acid which is called as long polypeptide chain it is called as protein so this is nucleic acids the last leftover concept from biomolecules is hormones a small topic with, with our discussion that is hormones here what are hormones a chemical substances which acts as intercellular messengers these are a type of chemical substances these can act as intercellular messengers what are messengers means they are useful to carry message from one cell to another cell or one organ to another organ in the body so intercellular one cell to another cell <laughs> message transported transferred from through hormones actually <laughs> hormones are released from these are released from endocrinal glands released from endocrinal glands so after they release from endocrinal gland endocrinal glands they immediately transported or transferred into enters into blood blood stream so the entered hormones into the blood stream carried towards the affected cells or required cells here hormones based on the structure of hormones based on structural aspects of hormones some of the hormones are steroids some of the hormones are steroids some of the hormones are polypeptides some of them are steroids and some of them are polypeptides examples for steroids aldosterone aldose estradiol estradiol etc these are examples for hormones which belongs to steroid class here these classifications actually based on the structural aspects of such hormones means some of the hormones are having steroidal skeletons so those are called as steroids examples for these are aldosterone estradiol estradiol testosterone progesterone whereas polypeptides some of them are polypeptides example insulin and some of them are amino acids some of the hormones are having amino acid groups example epinephrine and nor epinephrine etc epinephrine and nor epinephrine are the examples for hormones belongs to amino acid class here once again what is the role played by hormones in our body they are a type of chemical substances which acts as intercellular messengers to carry message from one cell to another cell in the molecule here actually these hormones are released from endocrinal glands of our body and based on the structure of hormones three types of hormones are there steroidal hormones or they may be with steroidal skeletons polypeptide skeletons amino acid groups here 
Examples for steroidal type of hormones are aldosterone, estradiol, estratriol, testosterone, progesterone. Whereas the polypeptide type of hormones are insulin and amino acid type of hormones are epinephrine and norepinephrine. Let us have biological importance of these hormones. Here, let us consider thyroid gland thyroid gland actually the thyroid gland is a type of endocrine gland can release thyroxine hormone thyroxine hormone released from thyroid gland here the thyroxine hormone is nothing but iodinated derivative iodinated derivative of tyrosine if the thyroid gland releases less amount of thyroxine than our requirement then which leads to produce a disease called hypothyroidism hypothyroidism what is hypothyroidism less or a deficient quantity of thyroxine hormone released from thyroid gland which leads to a disease which is called as hypothyroidism so in this hypothyroidism the human beings will become fatter whereas if the same thyroid gland releases huge amount of thyroxine than our requirement then that is called as hyperthyroidism hyperthyroidism actually the hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism are two opposite phenomena in case of hypothyroidism to overcome hypothyroidism we have to use iodinated salt because when the salt is substituted with iodine it increases thyroxine hormone quantity if in case of hyperthyroidism that is over release of thyroxine hormone we have to decrease the use of salt iodinated salt and next one more example is insulin this insulin is useful to maintain or useful to reduce sugar levels sugar levels in blood insulin is an a hormone released from endocrine glands and it is useful to decrease sugar levels in blood similarly one more hormone is there glucagon so what is this glucagon it is useful or it is it promotes increase of increase of sugar level in blood sugar level in blood so just observe the two conditions here insulin can decrease decreases sugar levels in blood whereas glucagon can increase sugar levels in blood so here if insulin quantity decreases sugar levels immediately become down to the earth level in blood whereas glucagon quantity increases so they increase sugar level in the blood which leads to sugar disease okay so here it is the two conditions these two engine sorry these two hormones cooperatively works each other inside of the living organism body to maintain accurate blood levels in the body so this is about hormones some more hormones are there and which which are useful to maintain some biological functions of living organism body so this is the topic biomolecules once again from the topic of biomolecules so far explained uh, explained and related concepts are carbohydrates structure functions and importance of carbohydrates next one amino acids uh, proteins next nucleic acids enzymes and the last finally hormones okay so this is the topic of biomolecules